Right, changing gears now. Are you a Francophile but not yet mastered the rituals of la vie parisienne? Perhaps you need a few lessons on how to get the quintessential Parisian attitude. Well, French funnyman Olivier Giraud continues to take the French capital by storm with his hilarious one-man show, How to Become Parisian in One Hour. It's a survival guide with the comedian dishing out the do's and don'ts of fitting in here in Paris, poking fun at both the, at times, grumpy, uptight locals, I said at times, uh, but also the wide-eyed tourists drunk on cliches. Well, that's what today's Perspective segment is all about, and it's an absolute pleasure to welcome the show's creator and comedian, Olivier Giraud. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you. Now, at first, you weren't expecting uh, the Parisians, uh, but they, uh, they make up half of your audience. Uh, they have a reputation for not being able to laugh at themselves. Uh, so what's your secret? Why do you think the show is such a hit with locals as well? Um, I would say mm. that Parisian... Uh, like to laugh uh, at themselves because uh, during my show, um, when I'm doing all the older sketch, um, I can hear people saying, Oh, I'm like this, I'm like <laughs> this. They're so happy to be rude and arrogant. Uh, and Are you saying they're proud of that? Oh, yeah, so proud. <laughs> and and uh, I'm playing the show for nearly 10 years now, but um, nobody uh, told me once that, Oh, yeah, thank you, now we have to change. Never. No one. Never <laughs> happened. Never happened. They're so happy. <laughs> Well, what's the difference between a Parisian's reaction and a tourist or expat's reaction to, to the jokes that you make? Um, I, I would say that the, um, the tourist or the expat, they, um, they really feel what I'm saying about living in Paris. Um, I do a lot of Americans coming to the show and, and I lived in America for nearly five years. And you can see it's totally the opposite between Americans and Parisians. Uh, here we are always negative, um, never happy. And, and in America, it's Americans like, oh my so God, I love optimistic. my life. It's, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Everything is great. It's raining. I love rain. In Paris, it's like so <laughs> different. Yeah. Are you are you tougher on locals or the uh, the tourist expat crowd when it, when you're kind um, of? I, I make jokes to everybody. I make love uh, love. You were tough love, on me. Uh, <laughs> you. You were tough on me, I say that, because I saw the show about six years ago. Oh, OK. Yeah, and I, yeah, I remember you uh, making fun of me, yeah. picking me out no, of the audience. No, I make fun of everybody. <laughs> uh, no, a bit, a bit uh, for people from Provence as well, uh, and expat tourists and Parisians. Yeah, but great atmosphere. There is, I would say, um, 30 nationalities every, uh, every night during the wow. show, so it's great, great atmosphere. Well, your show pretty much confirms a lot of the cliches about Parisians, uh, including the uh, conservative dress code here in the French capital. Uh, let's take a look at uh, a clip from the show. Lesson number one, how to become Parisian in a shop. So before shopping, you will need to know how to dress like Parisians. So it's very easy, girls and guys dress the same. <laughs> so, it's always black top. If you're a bit crazy, you can put some gray, okay? <laughs> like you. <laughs> Where are you from? Paris. Paris, yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> then it's black pants or dark blue jeans. If you see a girl with the skirt, she must be expat. <laughs> and if you see a girl with the mini skirt, she's from England. <laughs> so, it's true. <laughs> It's funny, actually, Olivier, I had a conversation with a French friend of mine a long time ago, perhaps before I even went to see the show, and we would say to each other, we'd make a joke and say, um, right, I'm Parisian, I'm going to wear black, and if I feel a bit crazy, I'm going to put uh, some uh, red or yeah. some brown <laughs> yeah. or something like that. Red so scarf. it's, yeah, exactly, <laughs> it's ah, <laughs> so crazy. Yeah. Um, so that clip um, took, uh, took a look at some of the, the, the cliches. Uh, what do you think is the biggest misconception about Parisians then? What do you mean by Mis it? misconception, like something uh, something that we uh, we think about Parisians, but actually oh, yeah, isn't not. true. Um, when I was in America, everybody told me all the time, "Yeah, in Paris, you never take a shower." <laughs> like, what do you mean? Yeah, I mean we know that you never take a shower and you put perfume because you smell bad. It's like no, we <laughs> we have running water. Yeah, we we take a shower. <laughs> I mean we have water in our apartment or house. I think this one is the, the wow. worst one. Okay, so it is it is a hygiene related yeah. misconception. Um, now you got the idea for the show while you were living and working in the U.S. You briefly mentioned that before. Uh, when you came back to France, did you go through some sort of reverse culture shock after getting used to the way things were done over over in the States? It, it was very hard for me because uh, I'm working. Uh, uh, I was working in catering industry, 
And in America, it's like, oh, great, the waiter is like just amazing. And when you, when you go back to Paris, when you come back to Paris, it's just a nightmare with the waiter. And even mm. the, 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 the guests are horrible with the waiter. So I was um, very shocked, but it took me two weeks to become again Parisian. So okay. It was okay. It was fast. Well, next year the, uh, the show celebrates its 10th anniversary, I believe. Um, what changes have you made to the show over the years to sort of keep it uh, fresh and current? But at the beginning, um, I wasn't really a real comedian because it was a start for me. Uh, and now I try to uh, make improvisation all the time and, and uh, the mimics are very different. And, I, um, and the, tr the show improved a lot. Yeah, so you sort of push beginning. yourself to sort of completely. To challenge yourself yeah. to just sort of and, and improvise to, uh, more. Completely and try to make new jokes. And if it worked well, add it to the show. You keep yeah. it for the yeah, next yeah, show. It, yeah. uh, well, you may have heard of the uh, British comedian Paul Taylor, who yeah. uh, went viral with his video explaining how to do the the bees or the the, the kiss that French people uh, used to, to greet one another. And he went on to have a, a pretty successful YouTube series. How do you feel when it's a, a foreigner lampooning uh, Parisians or lampooning French people? How well, do you feel I as a think, French person? I think it's uh, it, it's very good because the um, all the expat. Um, when they see Paul Taylor, they say, oh, yeah, that's the way I feel. That's the way I feel as well. Yeah. So I think it's, it's great. And, and, uh, and his sketches are very, very funny. Paul Taylor is very good. Yeah. Do, do you think you'll ever take the show overseas? Or have, have I've played you, a show any a few plans? times in, uh, in London. Right. Um, How did that go down? It was, it was good, but uh, I really prefer playing in Paris because in Paris there is like this mix of people that I didn't have in England. And I think it's better to play in, in, in Paris. Yeah, I, I love it in Paris. Yeah. So. We were talking off air about uh, me having been in Paris 12 years today, my 12th anniversary of being in France. How do I know if I'm a real Parisian? What are the telltale signs? Um, how do you know? Like, for example, in the metro, um, when you arrive in, when you wait for the metro, if you uh, wait more than two minutes, you get very, very hungry and like, so true. wow, putain. I do. I say yeah. that exact word. Yeah. I say I say yeah. that naughty word, and I three minutes. That's and even, incredibly long. Yeah. <laughs> and if you work and you see an old lady in front of you, like. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not admitting to that, but I do get a little impatient with some people yeah, in the. Yeah, very impatient. Yeah. In the in the corridors of yeah. the metro, um, Olivier Giraud, thank you, thank so, you so much for being here and, and talking to us about your show. Uh, for those of you at home, if you're in Paris anytime soon, make sure you catch the show "How to Become Parisian in One Hour" at the Théâtre des Nouveautés. You'll laugh until you cry. Thanks again, thank Olivier. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.